Yeah, so basically, we say that a particular function is concave if we pick any two points on the graph of the function, the line segment connecting them should lie either below the graph or on the graph, never above it. Remember, yes or no? Okay, so you just have to keep that in mind. The same definition is applicable to uh, multivariable functions as well. Okay, no difference at all. I'll give you the formal definition, but I just also tell you like this is actually the same definition. Okay, there's there's no difference. Okay, I mean uh, writing it formally helps to prove some some results. You know that is why it is important to write it formally. You know what it means, but it is exactly the same thing. Okay, geometrically, you know this is exactly what that uh, you know thing means means. Okay, so let me uh, first give you some pictures you know some of the functions that you may have come across i'll give you some picture of those functions and you have to tell me whether they're concave or convex by looking at the function okay so what i'll do is i'll give you two variable functions so if it is a function of two variables uh f like for example uxy utility function is a function of two two commodities then you need a 3d graph right to plot u function okay so i'll give you some utility functions some production functions and you have to tell me by looking at the graph of those functions whether they are concave or convex is that fine okay okay so let's start with uh, you know some of the common ones you know let's say uh let's say cobb douglas okay uh with cobb douglas utility function with uh you know so x to the power alpha y to the power beta type function where alpha plus beta is one you know let's take one example you know let's say x okay so just look at this function is this function concave yes it is do you all agree Okay, can you see this, that this is concave? Because if you pick any two points on the graph, okay, any two points on the graph, the line segment connecting them will lie either below the graph or on the graph, never above it. Do you agree? Yes or no? Any questions? Okay. What about the level curves? How are the level curves going to look? So this is a concave function. Okay, let's see its level curves. So remember, how do we fix the level? So let's say z equal to two. Okay, so we are going to get a plane. This is how the level curve looks, right? What can you say about the level curve? Level curve is convex. Okay, so actually, it's 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 uh, kind of interesting that all increasing concave functions will have convex level curves. Okay. Uh, so we'll i mean if we'll if we'll get the time we'll prove it okay but uh, this is something which is very important so if you see somewhere let's say convex indifference curves okay then don't jump to the conclusion that the function is convex okay so let's do that let me ask let me answer this question so you are saying for all convex level curves do we have a concave function whose level curves are like this okay that's what you're asking okay Let's do this one. Okay, what can you say about this function? Is this concave? Uh, oh, you can ignore the negative part. Okay, you can just look at the positive part because, you know, I mean, we are only interested in the positive quadrant. Okay, so if you just look at, let's say this, this portion, you know, where X and Y are positive, just look at this portion. Can we can we say this function is concave? No, right? Because if I pick these two points, for example, if I pick a point here and a point here, the line segment connecting them doesn't lie below the graph, right? I and mean, part of it lies above the graph. Do you agree? So it is not a concave function. Is this a convex function? No, it is neither concave nor convex. Okay, now let's look at this level curve. Okay, again, you can ignore this portion. Okay. So what about the level curve? So I look at it from the top. Are the level curves convex? Yes. So 
so that answers your question okay so we can have convex level curves but the underlying function which is giving us this convex level curves may not be concave is that clear okay okay let's do a few more okay let's talk about min x y you know we have already seen that in the last class uh, but let's just uh, check you know whether it is concave or convex okay so what i'm going to do is so if x is less than y then x otherwise y okay okay so what can you say about this one is this concave what do you think yes it is yes or no yeah. can you see this all of you do you agree it is a concave function no matter what two points you're going to pick the line segment connecting them no matter what two points you're going to pick on this surface you know which is the graph of this function the line segment connecting them will lie either on the graph or below the graph never above it do you all agree yes so this is a concave function let's look at its level curve okay so this is how the level curves look now of course you cannot call this a function level curves are not functions anymore because they will not pass the vertical line test yes or no but still you know in some sense you can say that they are kind of convex and not concave in some sense you know we'll, okay is that clear to everyone yes or no okay what about this one What can you say about this function? Okay, let's just uh, remove the level. What can you say about this function? Both concave and convex. Very good. Okay, uh, and uh, let's see what are its level curves. Yeah. So yeah, level curves are also both concave and convex. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Now let's look at this one. What about this one? Hmm? Convex. Is that okay? It's convex, but not concave. Do you agree? Okay. And now let's look at a level. Okay, you can ignore the negative part. Okay. So this is how the level curves look. Okay, these are straight lines. Okay. Okay. Is that clear to everyone? Okay. Good. Okay. So do you want any other function? You can try it on your own. Yes. Okay. Uh, so obviously, you know, this is uh, one very useful tool to identify whether some functions defined on two variables are concave or convex because we can actually see it and and check it. Let me give you some function which is neither concave nor convex. Okay. What about this one? So this is actually uh you know this function max of min of x comma 2y comma min of 2x comma y so what can you say about this function is this concave convex neither is that okay and you can see the level curves they are going to look like this okay so level curves are actually here can you see the level curves yes okay they are going to be like this because if you just fix a level it's just going to give you something like this like a staircase is that clear to everyone okay so this is neither concave nor convex have you understood this okay 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 so graphically now you know what concave convex is uh, but uh, you know uh, but i'll tell you ways in which you can find check concavity without the geogebra 